Hello folks, uh, welcome to Captain Jag Sparrow, uh, yes I'm crawling around on my back, under a car, in the dirt, in the wet, in the cold again, um, for pure content of course, you know, for no other possible reason like headbutting this lower wishbone on our trusty E61. So, what do we got for you today? Well, this time I'm kind of going to be asking for some of your folks' advice. So, presently our E60 is minus its diesel drivetrain and all the associated gubbins. And what we've got here is this horrific jack, which you'll see in a minute, that I absolutely hate. Uh, but what it has allowed us to do is to get our jack drivetrain uh, up and into position here uh, where the fuel tank used to live in the back. So, why does it keep? I don't, I have no interest in Bixby. I don't know who Bixby is. Why does my phone keep talking about someone called Bixby? Right. Maybe it's some AI BS or something, I don't know. Right, so where we're at is our drive unit does actually fit in here. Um, I'd say I've got about the thickness of the uh, differential flange overlapping here. Um, so about, I don't know, maybe 25 millimeters. So I've got loads of material here that I can cut off on the on the CV output and then come up with a means to join the output from our JAG motor to our BMW differential. Uh, so what I'm asking really is what you folks would recommend I do here because I've never really done a rear engine JAG build before um so this is a bit new to me i'm not sure whether i need one joint or two joints or whether i get away with a kind of a a jaw coupler on here or something um you know with one half of it on this one half of it on this um and we just slot the two of them together which allows for a little bit of misalignment but i'm not sure how that's gonna you know work out here in an automotive application so uh, let me try a bit more dodgy camera work so the good news is we have just enough space there now um with the with the uh, fuel tank area here and i think we're gonna have enough space up above i might have to massage that uh hump in the back seat a little bit but it is in the middle of the back seats. If we do, it won't be much anyway. Um, so the hope is uh, that we can get our motor in here in the middle, uh, inverter on what would be the left-hand side, and then the charger up here on the right-hand side, because that's where the fuel filler and all that kind of thing lives um so yeah i'm back using this horrible uh transmission jack thing it'll probably try to kill me it already has if i'm brutally honest um so i'm hoping this will come out in some way sensible uh it's evening i'm tired i'm cold i'm wet uh but we got ourselves um the beginnings of a jag powered e61 here so yeah that's where i gotta figure out is how best to mate up the differential and the motor here um now keeping in mind that like obviously this is a solid mounted differential so it doesn't go up and down or anything like that it's not a live axle um so that's yeah that's kind of what i've got folks um that's kind of what i've got for you sorry about the blair witch camera work here but that's what i've got 
okay I need to figure out how to join up those two guys there um, so yeah answers on a postcard please uh, so yeah hopefully we can get this motor in here pretty soon and then at least I'll have this car rolling uh, and I can work on the inverter then during the worst of the winter get it working and uh, get this thing driving hopefully so that's where I'm at um, just waiting on my model 3 drive unit boards so needed another project to keep myself occupied so that's it so that's what I've got for you folks today um, hope you haven't enjoyed this short video uh, it is sponsored by rain uh, so don't, don't forget to check the link in the description uh, and you can use discount code rain 15 uh, to get 15% off your first thorough wetting uh, when w working on a car out in the rain so yeah do let, let me know what you think about how I should be mating the Jaguar to the Germans and um, we'll see when the next fun packed episode should probably be a boring Tesla episode uh, so that's it so yes links in the description thumbs down block me cancel unsubscribe um, do whatever you need to do so you don't see any more of this garbage and um, yeah that's about it. So I'll see you in the next Jag episode. I forgot something, didn't I? See, that's the wet, the rain. Until next time, then. Hmm. Happy Jaguar BMW mating. <laughs>